Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorn. Today we're going to talk about introverted feeling and our emotions and our feelings. So imagine this, Carl Jung believed that feelings could be either directed internally or externally. So they could either be introverted or they could be extroverted. What does this mean? Well, imagine this, imagine all those feelings that you have inside of you and okay, everyone has feelings and everyone has feelings inside of them. All the feelings inside of you that you've never talked with anyone about. Everyone has these, everyone has these experiences that are subjective in their nature. A feeling is like, oh, it's like I care about and I love the color blue. It's, oh, I want to be an artist. It's, oh, I want to build a jet plane. It's, oh, I, it would be so nice to meet somebody, you know. Introverted feeling deals with everything we experience primarily internally and not externally. So one of the key prerequisites is we've never talked about this with anyone. We've not shared it. We've not done anything with it. We have not acted on these emotions. We have not done anything with these emotions. So introverted feeling types tend to be focused on the things they feel inside. They are preoccupied with their own emotions. They appear self-absorbed, but also guarded. They seem like they don't want to share. We can tell something is going on. We can tell they are feeling something, but we often struggle to get to know them. We say they are difficult or complex or mysterious. We say they never share. They never open up. We never know what's going on. We're often taken by surprise by the introverted feeling types. Wow, I didn't know they felt that way until they told me. It can be like they've held on to something for years and then they tell you. And then it's like, wow, how did they keep this a secret? So introverted feeling types are naturally secretive, but they can also be secretive in the sense that they can keep secrets for other people. When you are feeling something, when you are struggling with something, when they see something, they can hold this with you, they can hold this emotion with you as if it was their own and they can guard this secret with you. So there can be things the introverted feeling type knows about you that they should not know, that you never told them, so how do they know it? Well, one clue could be in the collective unconscious, perhaps we can through just seeing another person's perspective or through imagining ourselves in their shoes, perhaps we can gain information to how they are feeling. Perhaps you are expressing unconsciously, outwardly, your emotions. Perhaps other people can read you. Perhaps other people can predict what you are feeling. So the introverted feeling type has that prerequisite for being able to read and experience and take on the perspectives and values and viewpoints of other people as their own without talking about these emotions or sharing them with anyone. So the introverted feeling type is seen as very mysterious and very private and very guarded. They are also sometimes seen as cold. They are seen as dismissive, unfeeling, unemotional. At first glance, they can appear as if they don't care. They never said they cared, so why would they? We assume often that the introverted feeling types lack emotions because they don't show emotions. Often we expect the introverted feeling types to show and share more. We tell them, can you not open up a little bit? Can you not tell me what's going on? Can you not say to me what you're feeling? But this is only when we become aware that they are feeling. Often we don't even realize it. Often we have no idea. So often we assume these people are, in many ways, cold. And this can still be okay and we can still be fine with this, you know. We can have them as friends and we can talk to them and we can have them in our lives. And we can appreciate their stoic nature. The fact that they uh, never share, that also means they seem to have no problems. The introverted feeling types appear to have no problems, to be completely fine, to be completely okay. Because they never say anything to suggest otherwise. But otherwise... Most people who are close to introverted feeling types become aware that this is not true. Introverted feeling types will soon act in ways that will surprise you. And you might note this, especially when unhealthy, how these emotions exist even though they are not spoken out loud. You might ex uh, notice that the introverted feeling type gets upset or becomes cold or becomes quiet. And 
you might be able to read and predict what it is they are feeling by understanding and by digging and diving into their emotions and trying to see things from their perspective. So perspective is one of the key introverted feeling traits. Introverted feeling types tend to show a lot of perspective. They tend to see nuance. They tend to see nuances in feelings. So often what they are is they are naturally introspective types. They are counselors or maybe they are artists. So what you will see is the counselor type seeks to understand their own and other people's emotions and inner feelings, not what you tell them. Not what you told out loud, but what you felt underneath the lines, underneath it all. So the introverted feeling type often has this approach of, so how did you feel then? Yeah, introverted feeling types can come at you as if what you are saying and what you're doing and what you're projecting outwards is a facade, is fake. They can come at you when you're talking and loud and sherry, and they can ask you something that will catch you off guard. So how did you feel then? Are you sure that's a... So I... Why did you say that? What did you mean with that? They believe there's a deeper meaning to things that we might often think, no, there's no deeper meaning to this. It's just a joke. It's just friendly innuendo. It's just something I said. Ha 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 ha. You know? So the introverted feeling type sees through these things. And in many ways, they are then the seers. They are uh, often associated with being seers or witches or... So um, they're seen as having spiritual or magical powers. And sometimes they often think they do. Some of them, many of them think they do. Sometimes I've thought I did. I've thought that I've had the ability to dream of the future. I've thought I've been able to figure things out. And then I've been later on, I've found out, no, I cannot. <laughs> I cannot. I don't have magical powers. I only thought I did. I was lucky and I guessed it right once, but I didn't do it the second time. And I didn't do it the third time. Sometimes I hit it and I hit it really well. I've predicted many things and changes in other people's lives even though they didn't tell me. And it hits me afterwards like, wait a second, wait a second, how, what? And then I confront them about it and I ask them about it and then it's like, oh, so I was right. Or, oh, no, okay, I was wrong. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> so it can be embarrassing and it can be accurate. So it's uh, really hit or miss. Spiritual abilities, I believe, are very hit or miss. I don't believe they're accurate enough to be predicted by science or can be used scientifically. But I understand that they have private and personal uses. They can be helpful in helping us understand our family and also in helping us uh, make other people feel seen and understood. So what do we need introverted feeling for? Why don't we just stick with extroverted thinking? You know, extroverted thinking is so much more reliable and accountable. It's, you know, it's tough, it's strong, it's durable. It's like a superpower. Introverted feeling, however, what's that? You know, what's, what, why do we need perspective? Why do we need to uh, see these things? Why do we need to introspect? What's the point of sitting down and asking ourselves deep questions about our emotions? Mindset. Mindset is the key here. The key is feeling is about storytelling. Feeling types are storytellers. They don't focus on our direct behavior. They don't proceed things logically. They don't act out of a win or lose calculation. They're not playing a game. They're not trying to read and connect the different actions. They're trying to act out a character, a feeling, an impulse, or something that's a lot more social in its nature. So introverted feeling is about the really mindset and setting a mindset for ourselves. What do we want? What's important to us? What do we think? What do we value? What do we think is most important in life? You know, most of us, we just naturally just go through life and we do things because we're told it's smart, you know, get a degree, get a high school diploma, go there, do that, pay your taxes, follow this recipe and you'll be happy. And then we follow this recipe and we're not happy. We're miserable, yeah. We're stressed to bits. We, we're wondering at some second, like, why am I actually doing this? So introverted feeling is naturally therapeutic in the sense that it makes us realize our own mindset. Why do I do it? What's important to me? Why, what do I really want for myself? And um, naturally, then, naturally then, introverted feeling types tend to struggle in school and tend to struggle with living that normal, ordinary life. They 
don't get the highest degrees, they struggle in school, they don't show the ba basic skills and abilities other people do, they struggle with the... Uh, uh, you know, paying the bills, you know, getting a house, getting a loan, going through bureaucracy and dealing with, you know, all those necessities that everyone tells us we should do. They struggle because they can't do it unless they know why. They cannot do anything unless they know why. They need to ask why and often they're dismissed for it. Why do we study this? Why do I need to know this? So they're told, just do it. Just do it. You know, that's actually a slogan. That's a very extorted thinking slogan. Just do it. YOLO, you know. <laughs> that's very extorted thinking. You know, to think about and approach something just in a what works mentality. People do it and they seem to be successful, so it seems to work. That's extorted thinking. Extorted thinking is, I got that successful person got an A, so I should get an A. That successful person studied this course, so I should study this course. That successful person did this, so I should do this. They design their life based on what works mentality, what gives the most money, what gives the most success, what seems to make people the most happy. So the focus is then on results and on pragmatism. And then it makes no surprise there that the inverted feeling types are the least pragmatic. But it also makes sense then that the inverted feeling types need to use a lot of extroverted thinking to get through life. So extroverted thinking is a necessary means to an end. It's something you need to do, something you need to be able to manage and deal with. There will come times where you can't be Jesus in every situation. There will come times where you can't feel your way through every situation. There are times when you just need to go and you just need to do something. There are times where you need to use extroverted thinking. So often what you will see is introverted feeling types tend to use extroverted thinking on a pendulum. They first use introverted feeling, then they switch to extroverted thinking. Then they go to introverted feeling and then they go to extroverted thinking. They do this because they recognize they have to. They have to put on walls, they have to focus on their actions and their behavior, set aside. Now, this, now I know what I'm feeling, so now I gotta go through it pragmatically. Now I gotta follow this system, now I gotta approach this method, now I need to do this, you know. Introverted feeling types can have a very strong sense of game. And game is basically what we push ourselves to do because we know it's a necessity. And introverted feeling eights, Enneagram eight types will be excessive, extremely good at this. Introverted feeling nines, however, will be shite. So introverted feeling nines, like myself, we struggle to go through all of these things because we struggle to push ourselves. We struggle to force ourselves. You know, the Enneagram 8 is the best at brute forcing any situation. They can just push, challenge, scream, you know, do stand up and go out and do it and grab it by the hands and take it for themselves, you know. Even though it's difficult, even though it's stressful and hard and... oh. They do it. They know how to do it. The Enneagram 8s are awesome at pushing themselves to do things they do not actually want to do. It's the introverted feeling 9s that have the biggest issues because we only do things when we really want to do it because it's in the name of our happiness and harmony and peace of mind. So what I notice is we struggle to use extroverted thinking whenever we uh, don't need to, whenever we're harmonious or at peace. Then we don't use it, and then we forget about it, and then it's like, oh shit, I should have done it, I should have done it. So we only deal with it when we're upset. So often we only, we're only able to engage in extroverted thinking when we're upset with something, or when people are upset with us. Most likely it's when people are upset with us. People start criticizing us, we notice there's disharmony, we notice things are wrong, and people are not happy with us. And our boss is not satisfied with us. And then we do it. And then we push ourselves and then we force ourselves to get through it. And that's the situation where we also get very cold. You know, in disharmony, introverted feeling types get super cold. In harmony, we are super feeling. So, what can you do with the introverted feeling type? What should you do about it? How should you practice the introverted feeling? First thing you do is you recognize you have it. First thing you do is what am I feeling? What am I thinking? What am I holding on to? What emotions am I holding on to? What am I not sharing with anyone? What am I not telling anyone? I told you anyone can do this, but I tell you also introverted feeling types do it more than anyone else. I tell you this because uh, we need to recognize there's a value to privacy and secrecy and to holding things as our own. When we push things out there, 
things become a part of the social everyday experience. Everyone will have these emotions. Our emotions will become everyone's emotions. Suddenly everyone can have an opinion about what we're feeling. They can say, no, you shouldn't feel that. No, you shouldn't think that way. Hey, that's much better. This is not so nice. How can you like that? This is so much more fun and this is much more popular. and This will make you much more successful and this will make you much more happy. But when you hold things as your own, you can also work on them apart from everyone else. You can go your own way. You can be your own person. You can be your own artist. So the value of introverted feeling is also in going your own way and having your own individual purpose, your own individual root of life. So you need to work on nurturing this root of life, your own individual path. You need to listen to and nurture your purpose. You need to shape your life according to your purpose. You need to introspect and understand yourself. You need to introspect and understand other people. If you understand their purpose and you understand your purpose, you also know how to not get in the way of other people. And you also know how to focus on yourself and how to best help others as a counselor or a therapist if you want to. So with this video I teach you, I tell you, embrace your own feelings, listen to yourself, be a counselor for yourself and for other people, try to understand yourself, don't go through life misunderstanding yourself and others, go on through, don't go through life rejecting yourself and your emotions, and don't go through life rejecting the emotions and feelings of others. Recognize the inner is important, what you feel is important, what other people feel is important. And then use that and let that be a part of you and who you are, naturally. That's the way of the artist. Are you on the path of the artist? Are you the introverted feeling type? Feel free to leave a comment down below. Let me know how you are feeling, what you are going through, what your issues with this cognitive function is, and what your strengths and what you like the most about this cognitive function. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video.